I found that early on in DMT, it, it was like the worlds are changing so fast, just like do 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 do, like a different universe. Like every, and it's why it feels like you are in there for lifetimes. Like, like every second, a new universe. Like just so overwhelming. Mm. And then as I as I learned, as I got more used to the experience, as I learned to kind of untether myself from like having to remind myself you're on a couch right now you're <laughs> you smoked a tmt you're gonna go back to your okay this is okay it, but once i once i no longer had to tell myself that and was able to surrender or whatever they might say in in kind of the psychedelic space things did start to slow down and it and to me a, a, a lot of people would be like, ah, see, you surrendered to it, and then it opened up what mm. is reality to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What I would push back against and say is that, is it that, or did you just start buying into one of those, let's say, random universes, and then once you start buying into that, the brain goes, ooh, all right, he likes this one. All right, build this out. Okay, now how do we make this one make sense? Yes. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think so. And the brain is always trying to, um, it wants to settle on something. It's, it, and sometimes it, it, will, it will struggle, right? And, and I think that certainly with DMT, um, the disruption of the brain's, in, the brain's ability to construct its, its model uh, is, 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 is so complete um, that you do enter this kind of terrifying procession of, of extremely complex, indecipherable kind of imagery. Uh, and then the brain starts to make sense of it. It's, uh, okay, this uh, starts to build coherent structures mm -hmm. um, from that. Um, that doesn't mean that the, the, the DMT space isn't, I'm still not letting go of the idea that perhaps it is, re it is receiving information from some other place, uh, but even if it was or wasn't, yes. uh, the, the, the information the brain is generating is dramatically altered and it tries to form hypotheses. It tries to form a cogent, coherent model, and that takes time. Um, and that's why yes. there is this initial extremely disorienting phase, and then, and often people won't get past that. They will, they will get dragged back. But the more times you do DMT, the more the brain is, okay, this is the type of information. These are the kind of patterns of information that, that, that I'm dealing with at the moment. And, and I know now how to fit them together to form something that is a coherent model. And that's the model. That's when you break through and you enter into this relatively reasonably kind of coherent, stable reality. DMT space. that world that they were constructing you go this is weird this is really familiar for some reason because it comes from your information generating machinery but it's also um really fucking strange and there's there's something yeah there's something fun this 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 is a, a whole uh, ecology of, uh, of beings that are that are just fucking around and they they're yeah. loving it and it's <laughs> I'm I'm not sure they're fucking around and I'm not sure they're loving it. I've I've gone to battles with some of these things. Um I I mean sometimes they've scared the fucking shit out of me to be oh, yeah, perfectly yeah, yeah, honest. Yeah, yeah. It, and it's and it's why it, it's it's why I don't even recommend I don't not recommend DMT to people, but I don't when I first got into DMT I was like Everyone should. You are really to not do DMT is like that's crazy to like miss out on that experience in your life. And now I'm like, eh, I don't know. I I can't I can't tell you what to do.